So this is the alum we are using, McCormick alum, for pickling and cooking. And the Epsom salt magnesium sulfate right here is what we're using for the magnesium. And so just to show you how charged the battery is, we're going to use a little bit better of a meter here. 12.76, 12.76, so it's reading about what the but what it was before I stuck the charger on it, which it jumped up to 12.8 and then dropped back down. So 12.76 is where it's where it likes to sit. And this is a $50 battery from Walmart. Mm -hmm. You want to be careful because if it slips out of your hand, it'll splash. So if you, you want to make sure you don't drop it and in the acid. It. There's plenty of airflow out here though, so. It's really heavy. Rocking it back and forth so we can get all the acid out of there. As much as we can, anyway. Still want a little bit left in the battery. It seems to help. Don't drink it when you're done. A lot of people, they... Oh, man, I'm losing it. You gotta turn it back over. They drink it right when they're done pouring it. Yeah, that's usually how it goes. I mean, who doesn't like drinking battery acid? Jeremiah, shut up. You're ruining my video. <laughs> we should test the voltage just for fun. We're going to test the voltage just Without for fun. any liquid in there. It's going to have some acid in it because you can't, it's really hard to get it all out. You can hear Would you it. Would mind testing the battery? Ooh, still in there. There's still some in there, but... It doesn't matter which which side goes on which side. Oh yeah, still, that's a heavy battery. I just want to point out the voltage I have in my thumb. Ooh, that's pretty good. Yeah. 140.5... <laughs> Millivolt, yeah. Now... Okay. There's a lot of acid all over that. Go ahead and test that. Looks like we got 12.73. Tell me I suck. All right, now <laughs> I'll say whatever I want. <laughs> Stupid. So um, we're almost ready to put the uh, new electrolyte in. We're just waiting on a measuring cup, and we've got our solution here. It looks like pretty much everything's dissolved in it. There's a little bit left over on the bottom. So our solution is probably as saturated as it's going to get. And it has 530 grams of alum and it has 171 grams of magnesium sulfate. And we're just going to...
gotta fill it up. One cell at a time. Maybe we should get a little closer. With How the much camera. fits in a cell? Well, we're about to find out. Let's see. So that's, that's two, two cups. cups. Roughly. It's a gallon divided by the other. The smaller battery took a cup, and it was quite a bit smaller than this. Just gonna see where we're at here. Well, keep. We can keep going. I think it's gonna be about two cups. <laughs> So it was 11.37. We're gonna give it a trickle charge at two amps here, and then we're gonna discharge it with the steel wool. Uh, the steel wool is acting as a resistor, so it's not drawing as much current, so it can draw it slowly. And it's heating up the water and dissipating the energy into the water, um, which is what we want. We don't want it producing bubbles or hydrogen. All right, so here's my Allen battery, and it's almost done charging. Assuming this is charging, I'm at 15 volts, and when it gets to 15 volts, it's going to stop. Um, <clears throat> I had it on 2 amps for a while, and then I switched it to 12 amps, and then switched it back to 2 amps, and I alternated about every 15 minutes. As soon as this is fully charged, I'm going to take it out and stick it in my truck. I'm assuming it'll just start right up. All right, we just stuck the battery in. Same battery. And we're gonna try and start the truck for the first time. All right, Jeremiah, take a hold of the camera. Woohoo! 